Hey, Shalom. Once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakadash. I want to give double honor to our apostles who are our elders who do well. I want to say blessed citations to the brothers out there teaching and enduring truth and sincerity. Again, sincere, I have a thumbs up Um This lesson um, is more of a um, in transit, of course, as you can see. You know, uh, on it, head, heading back to the home safe zone. You know, uh, and um, I was just discussing something with somebody, and uh, we're just going over just guns and, and, and things like that. You know, um, and the title of this le lesson is "The Weapons of Our Warfare Are Not Carnal." You know, but at the same time, does that mean that you're not? not to have these um, objects to defend your life you know in such said such cases no I'm just not saying that it's like learning how to fight it's like you know um, having you know saving up money in the bank is like having extra food just in case for a rainy day you know what I'm saying um, you know you, you, you are allowed to do something but um, you don't want to put your your soul into it. You don't want to put your spirit into thinking that that's your problem solver. You know, and that's just a, 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 like the scriptures say with money. Money is a defense. It's not a it's not a problem solver because the Lord wants you dead. Is you're gonna, you're gonna be dead. The Lord wants you poor. You're gonna be poor. The Lord wants you rich. You're gonna be rich. So money is not the problem solver. You know what I'm saying? So if you invest all your emotions into it, they can destroy you if it's whether it's given or taken away, okay? So the same thing, uh, and which blends into to another lesson I wanted to do that where man's heart is, where, where his, um, man's treasure is, that's where his heart will be also, you know? And um, we're not here to be carnal. We're not here as other men within the ministry, you know? So to, to anybody outside the ministry, and you're talking about doomsday prepping and all that. You can miss me with that because it's, it's you no, know, it's a waste of time, you know. And if you don't realize why, that's because you're not reading. You know, the scriptures tell you, you know, take no script, no bag with you. Also said that when they save up, they save up for for our sakes because the Lord is going to guide us and feed us within the, in those in these hard times, you know. But long story short, we we're just talking about guns. And uh, me personally, I've, I've taken a concealed carry class. You know, I really don't care about it um, that really that much at all because I, I've, took, I've taken it like last year. I still didn't pay to get my license to, to you know, you got to get a, after you take the class, you got to pay, you know, and get a card and then you get the card and then you can carry it at that point, right? I haven't even done that. I just took the class, you know, and I was more intrigued about what I learned in the class. When I went in there, I just wanted the ability to be able to carry a gun. You know what I'm saying? Um, but then when I when I finished the class, I was more uh, more wooed by the the reality of the situation. You know, because any man with a spiritual mind is going to automatic, automatically connect, connect everything with the spirit. So when that happened, one of the things that clicked to me is that the, uh, the instructor said, you know, what you do when you get robbed, I'm pretty sure a lot of people find, heard this before. It says, um, what you do when you, if you got a gun and you could, you're a concealed carry, you like to conceal carry, you know, um, what do you do when you when you get robbed? You give them your wallet. Cause you can get that back, can't get your life back, right? So it, it, it's basically telling you like, when, when you're talking about self-defense, don't think because you got the biggest, baddest gun, don't think because you, you, know, you know this martial art or that martial art that you, you can't get, get your bell rung or get, your, get your, your, your potato whack, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Lord killeth and the Lord maketh alive. So if you trust, like the scripture said, if you live by a sword, you shall die by the sword. 
You know, ain't nothing wrong with having a sword. Peter had a sword. We all had swords from then until now. But it, it, it's a time and place for it. You know, like me personally, I, I, I have one. But it's like, yo, if something happens, then it happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, you know, looking for shit. But I'm going to tell you this, in, spirit, in, all, in all actuality, when you get something like a gun, it, you know, and it's a hard subject because you don't want Esau to know everything about you, but they know everything anyway. You know, but when you get you a gun, man, a spirit comes with that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's sometimes better to not have it. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody could do something that could warrant them getting, you retaliating with a gun. And if you didn't have, you, by you not having one, it, it wouldn't, you know, create that situation. But, but sometimes Jake look for it. You get the gun, you know, somebody knocking on the door, you ain't expect to be there, you grabbing your gun and shit, look at it. You know, now you're in the wrong atmosphere. Now, now once you get into, into the technicalities and the spirituality and the prophetic uh, 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 process of things, for one, bullets are gonna skyrocket, right? This for you, you two thirds, you jakes, you niggas. Bullets are gonna skyrocket. You run out of bullets, okay? You run out of bullets. Jake don't know how to track. Most Jakes don't know how to track. You run out of bullets, so you, your aim game ain't all that. And we're talking about as a, 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 a mass unit. You probably got a few Jakes, so a few Jake don't count for all Jake. I'm talking about Jake niggas in general. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why Jake get these long ass clips because they, they ain't got no aim. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no long clip if you got aim. All you, you all you really need is multiple clips and a good aim. It should only take a couple of shots to get, you know, three to uh, three to five shots to get something done. You know, a uh, um, friend of mine, a uh, buddy of mine in the world, you know, uh, not not reveal his information, but you know, dude, this we was just talking about drum um, guns and something. Like, yeah, I got a drum. Oh, 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 yeah, man, somebody run up on me, like, bro, in, in reality, nobody's gonna be standing a block away from you saying, yo, what's up, nigga? I heard you want that smoke. And you like, oh, you want smoke? And then you got time to cock your hammer back on the drum, raise it up, and then start shooting, and it don't work like that. It's not a reality. What's gonna happen is, you're gonna be somewhere, maybe out, you know, uh, 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 date night in a club, shooting pool. You know, might be at a house party. Might be just at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? And let, you're not gonna have a a, 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 a a freaking assault rifle unless you're in Texas. You know, walking around at Walmart like I wish a nigga would. No, that's only in Texas. All right. <laughs> but so the reality is these these threats that people believe that exist or will exist in those days they're not going to be the they're not going to be the same man you're not going to be able to react with a heavy ass drum like you're in modern warfare that's when you go into war that's when you know where your enemy is hunkered down and anybody come out there that distance you can you know that type them type of guns are made for for niggas, man, with no aim, you know? Because if you got an AR with the proper balance and, 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 and scope, you, you only need a certain amount of bullets if you're not an aim, you know? If somebody's face-to-face -face with you, pulling out an AR is very difficult, man. We've seen videos with Esau now to shoot four, four people within six feet of him. You don't need the social distancing. You get all up in this... He still a bang you up, you know, with a handgun, and, and it'll drop you before you even get a chance to pull out a big old gun, like old ball for uh, uh uh don't be a menace of drinking your juices hood and do do we have a problem? You think it's gonna go down like that, man? You know, niggas don't know how to rack and tap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't know how to sight point. You know how to point shoot. They don't know how to shoot under pressure. Which is the, a, a major reality. You don't know how to shoot under pressure. I don't know how to shoot under pressure. You know what I'm saying? I learned how to fight. You know, everybody know how to fight, right? 
No, most most niggas not fight. But like under pressure, you know what I'm saying? Most people don't know everybody can swing arms, but most people don't know when when that somebody swing on you what to do. A lot of people curl up. You know what I'm saying? But boxers know. You swing on me, I'm not a whoop, pap, pap. And, and, and that's, that split second of time is how much you can get punched. Same thing with that split second of time, how quick you can get shot. You know, there's tons of videos, man, that you could bring up when, a, when, when, when Jake's was uh, uh, um, 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 robbing a convenience store and the guy sitting there with his hands up. You know what I'm saying? You know, the money's over here, the money's over there. And then he pointed and said, you could also get something over there. Jake with his dumb behind, both of them look, turn their back. And old boy pull out that, he, 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 uh, he, he, he lifted, you know, lift that shirt up like you're supposed to do. Rip, rip, you know, um, took out the uh, rip, grip holster, you know what I'm saying? And hit them boys. And it wasn't one in the head. Because Jake liked to walk around or getting... With, with a gun or a bullet already in the chamber, like that make you bad. If somebody put a gun in your head, that bullet in the chamber don't mean anything. You know, like Jake being carnal. You know, it's just it's just being carnal. And this is it was a it was a conversation that was just like it was just bothering me, man. You know, like oh we need to get bullets. You know, you know the bullet price is going up. I really don't care. Like you know, what I'm saying I got what I got. I got what I got, man. You know, Lord. Lord ain't gonna sit me, sit me have here. I'm worried about guns for it, man. You know, I'm worried right now spiritually where man's treasure is, here his, his heart would be there also. I'm worried about me personally as a man of the Lord, not saying the whole unison of Israel. Me as a man of the Lord, I'm worried about me putting myself in the right position, me being prudent in my decision making and making better decisions as I go along, because, you know, I know to keep the law, statutes, commandments, I know the prophecy, I know to do the work, but I'm heavily focused on making the right decisions when it's time to make them, because at the end of the day, your decisions is what's going to get you up out of here. Only you can get you up out of here outside of your how, why, how it shot. So you got to, you know, our weapons of warfare are not carnal. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jake don't even know communication, man. You know, I, I was watching the, the uh, 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 a Tupac documentary when they when he got shot in the studio, and he said that the dude, one of the dudes, said that they had to be in military because their communication was so fast that they couldn't even react to the, the the guys that shot that shot Tupac and them. You know what I'm saying? He said the way they the way they communicated, there was no way that they can. You know what I'm saying? Like Jake don't know nothing about no communication. Rack tapping, you know, distance, holstering, snatching grips, none of that, man. They just know who got the biggest gun with the biggest amount of bullets. You got to get to it first, man. You know, and at the at the end of the day, Esau give you if he give you that, you got to think about what he got. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he Esau ain't giving you no nothing that. It's, uh, uh, that's better than his You know what I'm saying Like that's crazy Why would he do that He already wants to oppress You mean to tell me he's gonna oppress us And then give us something that's A weapon that's that can destroy him Come on man You run out of bullets That's really the reality of it You run out of bullets man And you ain't got no aim You know That's like fighting That's like fighting with no stamina you could be big as hell, but if you ain't got no stamina and you don't got no, like, good punches and your punches don't hurt, like, just a big nigga for nothing. You just got a big gun for nothing, you know? I just I just pray that brother's not in that spirit of uh, thinking that a gun will do something for him, you know? There's nothing wrong with having it. He won't go to the shooting range, having some fun, release some stress. Because I'll be a hypocrite to say that that's wicked because I go to the gym and box, you know, I've competed, you know, and, and I know what it feels like, like, yeah, but this is not like, I'm not competing and doing all this, like, yeah, in that time, I'm, these things going to deliver me, these hands and these legs, these shins and these red Muay Thai and the boxing is going to deliver me in those days. No, man, I ain't going to do nothing. It may help you and assist you. 
but it ain't gonna deliver you. The most high how about Shimmy how Shah is gonna deliver you. Because Esau, the Lord gave Esau, the Lord gave Esau the blessing of the sword, man. You know, and, and he's he's that, that serpent that's more subtle than any creature. So Esau, as proud as he is, he ain't gonna tell you everything. You now how long it took for us to find out about the Illuminati? These people got guns that explode through walls, locating where you are. They got drones. They're gonna put guns on drones. You're gonna see all kind of things, man. Now, Joe, what Jake gonna get a, 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 a drone with a gun on it? Jake, Jake barely not a, only thing they not work is an iPhone, man. You know? And I'm not down on our people saying we're slow. We're just in somebody else's system, man. We're green. We're, our spirit is green to Esau's system. This, But this is Esau's system. So his react reaction is way faster, man. You know? that's the, We're dealing with two different... Uh, two different... <laughs> two nations are formed in our womb, you know? These are two different creatures, man, that we're dealing with. So... I just wanted to put that out there, man. Hopefully, it's edifying, man. I just want to push it and push it again. That yo, man, these guns ain't gonna ain't gonna save you. These knives ain't gonna save you. Money ain't gonna save you. It only helps, you know, investing your money in silver and gold. It only helps. It's not gonna deliver you in that day. It's not gonna give you any type of uh, uh, salvation, man. You know. Is the Lord is going to give you salvation. You got to have faith above everything. You know what I'm saying? If the Lord got me in the wilderness and I'm, and I'm, you know, walking with my family and so I see somebody and then they see me and I'm running and I see a gun, I'm going to pick the gun up and I'm going to use it. You know, in a, in a scenario-based situation. But overall, I'm not going to sit there and be like, be out there and be like, oh, I ain't got a gun. We all go, we're all doomed. That's Esau, man. That's Esau spirit. That's a carnal spirit. Okay? We're spiritual men. And that's why, you know, for me, fixing myself, I want to put myself in a in a in a in a, for, uh, uh, um, a situation to where my mercy window is, is 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 phenomenal. Because the heart is deceitful above all things. You know, we think that we got everything under control. But with our righteousness is filthy rags. We're going to need Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai's mercy in order to be delivered out this, man. You know, we need him. And, and Jake being carnal think that they got things under control because of the things that they could tangibly touch. That's the reason why Jake went off, according to Jeremiah. The gods and the made of wood and stone. They, then they start thinking, oh, yeah, I got, I got this under control, man. You know? Jake, Jake goes off consistency or a bullet normally kills a person. But they forget you gotta aim with you gotta aim with the John too. You gotta aim and then you you might gotta buy more. You gotta buy more bullets. Things of that nature. You know, it, it, it's a lot of variables. And spiritually, the variables don't match up to 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 uh uh our benefit, man. We don't have the resources to be able to uh, uh, defend ourselves against Esau's army. That's dumb because nations don't have that ability. Why would we have that ability? Like, think. Think. Jake don't think that far, man. You know? They're not prudent. You know? But I just want to say that, man. Hey, y'all about you, man. Shout out to you, Kakadash, Brock, a thumb. Shout out to you, Akim. Sit high, but thumbs are quiet. Shout out to you.